Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. This is part 11, working with decision stays. In this session, we will learn about the decision stays and how it is working. Decision stays acts as a if statement. If the result of a decision stay is true, it takes one direction. If the result is false, it takes another direction. The decision stage is simplest method to create multiple paths in a process. The decision stage works by evaluating the result of an expression as either true or false. We are having a scenario today to work on decision stage. If we get the calculation type as sum, then we are going to add two numbers or we are going to subtract two numbers based on the decision stage. If you are going to receive it as true, then we are going to sum the two values. If the decision is false or no, then we are going to uh, subtract two numbers based on from the highest value to lower value. Let me switch to Blue Prism Virtual Workforce. Let me go to Studio and let me create a new process called Process Stay, Process Session for Decision Stays. Click on Next. I'm going to give the description and I'm going to finish. Let me double click on the uh, process session for decision stage. We will get an uh, canvas design over here. So on this, that what I'm going to do from the stage toolbar, I'm going to get the decision stage and then I'm going to take it one more decision stage. Okay, and I'm going to get a calculations and I'm going to take four data items. So let me make the decision one. Let me double click on the properties and I'm going to say it as if statement for calculation method. And I'm going to say OK. If you see that what happening, I'm going to linking from decision stage one to calculation stage. If, if you see automatically when I'm going to click by default, it is coming as S or true. And then if it is no, the decision two, I'm going to make it. What I'm going to do over here, if the statement holds the value, so that is what I'm going to take. I'm going to take it as calculation method for one of the data item and it will data type holds as a text over here and I'm going to say initial value as sum and then click on OK. Now I'm going to data to I'm going to make it as value A and data type I'm going to save it as number the initial value that I'm going to say it as 200 in the same way data data 3 that I'm going to make it as B and data type that I'm going to give it as a number and I'm going to give it as a name as initial value is 500. Okay. Data four, I'm going to make it as result and the data type that I'm going to give it as number and I'm going to click on. Okay. Now what I want to do if calculation statement, what are the method holds? So what I'm going to do if the method holds the calculation method holds some value if it is yes i'm going to add these two numbers and i'm going to store that value in the result if no then i'm going to decide so from biggest value which one is the biggest value and subtract the amount i'm going to uh, subtract lower amount from the higher amount and then i'm going to calculate it and then i'm going to show the result in result data item okay this is the uh, this is the way that i'm going to work in this process okay now what i'm going to do if it is going to hold some value then calc1 i'm saying sum two numbers okay what are the two numbers if you see i am already having data items uh, the data items as one and i'm going to add with b and I'm going to store the result uh, store in result. OK, if you see if I'm going to validate it, the expression is valid and I'm going to save it. OK. So 
if no then i'm going to check it out a is greater than b or not this is the addition statement right okay what i'm going to do the expression that i'm going to give it as i'm going to check it out a is greater than b okay if it is true a is greater than b then what i want to do i want to do once again the calculation right what i am going to do i'm going to a minus b so in the same way i'm going to give the expression from here what i'm going to do i'm going to deduct sub or subtract b from a right and then i'm going to store the result in result data item if i am going to validate it it is succeeded okay now if a is not greater than b then what i'm going to do i'm going to do one more calculation over here saying b minus a okay this is the name just i have given then what i'm going to do i'm going to deduct the lower value from the higher value okay and i'm going to store the result in result data item okay now see i have dragged and drop and clicked on okay finally i'm going to linking sum of two numbers and a minus b and b minus a this is the uh, this is where i'm going to use the decision stage okay and then i'm going to from add to stage now see let me explain once again the calculation if the calculation method holds the value of sum then it is going to be comparing with the calculation stage right if here if you see the text i'm going to calculation method equal to sum this is the condition that what i'm going to write right the expression if you see the calculation method equal to sum if it is yes then add two numbers or else once again i'm going to check it out a is greater than b if a is greater than b a true then i'm going to deduct lower value from the higher value also no here also b minus a from the higher value uh, i'm going to subtract lower value from the higher value and i'm going to end it the results are going to be storing in result value let me check if there is any errors i don't have any errors as of now let me go ahead and let me execute it see if the statement is sum right then what is the value the data item one or the calculation method holds sum that's the reason it has added two numbers and saved the value in 700 so for the next time what i'm going to i'm just changing a small text over here i'm going to make it as one okay sum one or whatever so now what i'm going to do let me reset it and let me execute it now if you see it is false statement and then a is greater than b no so if you see 500 is greater than 200 that's the reason it is deducting from 200 from the 500 and the result is 300 okay this is the way that we are going to work with the decision stage now if you see on my screen that the diagram is not that much uh, looks good so what i'm going to do i'm going to use the anchor stage to make a data flow diagram okay let me add one by one over here If you see on my screen, I have used anchor stage over here to set it in a data flow way. If you see over here, I have used multiple anchors so that you know it looks like a data flow diagram and it looks compatible with the previous one. It looks very good. And I'm going to run once again over here. First of all, I'm going to reset it and then let me run once again. So if I'm going to use any anchor state, there's no difference from the previous one and to the uh, the current one because of there's no changes that we are going to make it in the flow diagram okay so it will looks like a you know data flow diagram and looks very familiar and looks very beautiful when you are going to use the anchor stage thank you for watching this video have a great day